Hey there folks, Dan Bell here again. Today we're going to talk and demonstrate adding a people picker to a PDP in Microsoft Project Online. Uh, so if you're not aware of what that is, basically you can use a people picker to implement using a dynamic list of users for a field that you want to contain usernames instead of a static list like a custom lookup table. So just to show you quickly what this is, click on this project here, click on edit, and then uh, notice I have a field called project management lead and it says enter the email address. So, in, you know, again, instead of a static list of lookup table values that you have to update as people come and go from using project line, you can just use a people picker and you can select the names, which is very, very cool. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and look at the procedure to do this. Um, here's a slide just shows the, the various steps. We're going to create a project level field. First of all, that we want to utilize this in the people picker called project lead. We're going to update a script that's used to populate that field. We'll upload the scripts to the site asset folder, project web app, or add the uh, custom field to the project detail page. So it's there for us to be able to set. We'll add a content web, uh, content editor web part to the project detail page. We'll uh, reference our script there. And then we'll add the custom field to a project center view so we can see the value uh, in project center. And then we'll test editing an existing project and select the value for the project lead. And then lastly, we'll view that updated project in project center. Okay, so let's let's get going. First, let's create the custom field. We'll go to server settings here, enterprise custom fields and lookup tables. And then we're going to create a new field under enterprise custom fields. And um, we'll call this project lead. It's gonna be project field. It's gonna be a text value good with that. And of course you could use, you know, some people use the owner field, but the only issue with the owner field is it's not available everywhere, meaning it's not available in Project Pro. Um, and there may be situations where the owner is going to be different than, than the project lead, right? Okay, so we created the custom field. Now what we need to do is update a script that is actually used to facilitate this dynamic people picker. And it's pretty straightforward. I'll provide this script to you folks so you can use it. You set the following to be an array of fields you would like to change into a people picker. Uh, since we're only going to use one field, right, we'll do that. And I believe that needs a semicolon at the end. So project lead, so we updated var tiger field. So I'm not going to go through the script, obviously, because um, it's beyond the scope of this particular demo, but there you go. All right, so we added the uh, script. Now we need to put the script in the site assets folder of the environment. So how do we do that? Well, we go to site settings while in PWA, site contents, and then within site contents, there is a site assets folder. And this is where we're gonna wanna put that. So I'm just gonna grab the file and drag it in. And there's my people picker. Okay, now that we've gone ahead and added the file to the site assets folder, let's go ahead and customize that project detail page. Then we'll go back to project web app. And then we'll go to server settings. And the first thing I'm gonna do is look at the enterprise project types. I'm gonna modify this one here, the enterprise project. And I wanna look for the name of the PDP I wanna modify here. And um, I don't, I'm not gonna modify the initiation one. I'm gonna mod modify the one in which you're viewing the project schedule, right? So it's gonna be the project details PDP here. Cancel out of that. And then we'll go again to server settings, project detail pages. And uh, this is the one right there, project details. We'll go ahead and click on that. And so what we wanna do is just modify this one here. So we'll go ahead to page, click on edit a page. And what I'm gonna do is add it to this, this section up here. All right, so I'm going to do that, edit modify. And then what we'll do is come over here Click on modify, look for project lead. Should be pretty easy to find. There's project lead, add. And um, I'm gonna put it right above the owner field there. Okay, click okay, click apply. <coughs> Excuse me. Then what I'm gonna do is add a content editor web part. So we'll go here. And uh, it's in the media and content section. There's content editor. With it selected, we'll click add and we'll add it right there. And there's the content editor. Now all we want to do is edit this web part. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now what we want to do is put the URL to that file in this location.
then we'll stop editing. Uh, now remember, the other thing I wanted to do, I'm gonna exit out of that, go back to PWA. I wanted to add that field to product center view. Therefore, I'm gonna go to service settings again. Um, and we'll go to manage views. And what I'm gonna do is copy an existing view. We'll just copy summary. And we'll call it summary demo. Summary, we'll call it, how's this? Summary project lead, click okay. And then we'll come down to here, there's summary project lead. I'm gonna look for project lead similar to the way I did previously. We'll add it, we'll here move it all the way over. Uh, right next, to, yeah, we'll move it two more. Right next to project name, click save. Okay, that uh, takes care of the majority of what we're going to do. So now what I'm gonna do is go to projects. And I have a few in here. Um, we'll select this one, production deployment. And there's project lead field. Let's see how that looks. Click on edit to edit the project. And there's project lead right there. And you can see it wants me to enter a name or email address, right? So you know, depending on who's in here. Looks like we have a couple users. So I can select myself in here, click save. And once this is saved, I can go ahead and click close. And we'll go ahead and let it check back in. Right. And if we want, we can find that view that we created before project lead. And there is project lead selected for the production deployment. There you have it, folks. It says it's a really handy way to be able to add a dynamic people picker list instead of having a static lookup table. Because static lookup tables, you know, again, as people come and go from using Project Online and they need to be a project lead in here, you'll have to update that lookup table to reflect the current list of values. And then what happens when people leave the company, you know? So it just makes it a lot easier to use the people picker. Hopefully you learned something from this. Any comments or questions, suggestions, feel free to reach out. Love to hear from you. Otherwise, have a great day.